Hi, I'm Cindy Brooks from the uh, Montgomery County Library um, I work in Mount Gilead and today I'm going to show you how to make a paper plate peacock. Um, first you get a whole plate and you cut it in half. I'm going to start to do, don't need, need to see how that's done. You just fold it in half and then cut where it folds. And so I, I've done some things ahead of time because it takes too long for things to dry. Uh, after you cut it out, you take, they suggest taking a pom pom and a clothespin to, and you dab the, you take, put the paint on another plate and you dab the pom pom in the paint and it suggests blue and purple and then you, you hold it and you just dab it like that. And that's what I did with this one. I used the pom pom. With this one, I used cotton balls. And the cotton ball worked okay, but the pom-pom looks better. The cotton ball has a tendency to want to fall apart after a while of dabbing, and then the cotton just starts stretching out. So the pom-pom is a better choice. And then after that, you, you can, um, after it dries, you have to let it dry. After it dries, you decorate it with sequins. Um, this is the way I decorated the first one. I just put them around the tail edge. And the second one, I decided to do it like this and have them everywhere. And um, I just glued them on with liquid glue. So that's done, that, but that's done because once again, it takes time to dry. So after you've done all that, then you um, take Chanel, one, just one um, pipe cleaner. And I just kind of measure just about three inches, I think. And you cut it, cut three of them. And I glued it inside, but you know it takes forever to dry. So I held it together with clothespin until it dried overnight. Um, but after it dries, and you could probably, because I am going to use a hot glue gun, so you could probably hot glue it in just as well. Um, then you have to take scissors and you have to, you need to cut, you need to cut slits into the toilet paper roll. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, <laughs> I forgot the first important part. This is part of the toilet paper roll. I painted it blue and that's, and that's where I put the Chanel things in. This is going to be its head. And I cut the slits in it. And then I slide a little paper plate in there. Try to even it up, make sure it's in the middle. Well, I don't need it in the middle right now, but uh, I'm just forgetting all the things I did in the order I did it in. But that's so it'll fit right there and there. So then I'm going to, there's several things I gotta do first. And one of them is to hot, I'm gonna some feathers. On this one I didn't have the fluffy feathers at first I just had these so I did <laughs> I did these first and then when I got the fluffy feathers I wanted to fill in so I just filled in with the little fluffy ones. Um, so I'm going to kind of arrange them on the back here see how I want them. It could be all colors. Turkeys are very colorful if you get the chance to see one up close. Um, I used to do ceramics and I had to, I was painting a, I was doing a nativity scene, an Indian one, and they had a turkey. And my ceramic teacher told me turkeys were very colorful and that and she showed me how to, you know, give it lots of color because she said their feathers are really quite beautiful. So. I'm going to use different feathers, although I don't think they have pink, but that's okay. You can use your imagination. And then I take the glue, and you, you do this with the help of an adult, so you don't want to get burnt. And I'll use, I'm going to put the feather on it, and just do that for all of them. And hot glue, as you know, doesn't take too long to dry. 
Not like regular glue. <laughs> well, okay, I'll put the yellow one over there again. Just it's insisting. This is going to get done in no time. The first time I didn't have a hot glue gun. So, I had glued it with white glue and then taped it, taped the big feathers on because the glue itself wasn't working. And so I just gave it reinforcement with the tape. So that can work too. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you might can use regular glue and tape. It stayed up. It's, I've had this done, I had that one, I've had that one done for about a year now. And it's still holding together. Okay, one more. the tail feathers lay like that for just a few minutes while I finish up my the face of my peacock. Okay, so I need just I need a little triangle for his nose. And I brought some googly eyes. I think googly eyes are fun. But I guess you could always, you know, you do something with construction paper to make eyes. Because I know we don't always have all these little things. Okay. Um, I'm just going to cut a little triangle up there off of my paper. A little bit hunky there, we'll fix it. And better. And if I had glue, which I forgot to bring over, I would glue it on. So I'm just gonna use a tad of hot glue. But actually white glue will work just fine. Uh, light glue will work fine, but this is what I've got. Same with the eyes. Light glue would work fine. But, sorry. <laughs> um, but the hot glue is what I have. Clean off some of that hot glue. All right, one more. So this should be. However, this little gun, it's not very hot at all. I mean, it, it's good enough for the glue, but it does get burned your fingers, so that's nice. It's a plus. his whole face looks like and I'm going to see what I'm doing with my face it makes it makes so smooth um, <laughs> hot glue everywhere now just slip it in here try to oh there we go If 
can tell it's centered because it's not going to fall over at all. So there is my peacock. Let me say they're showing off and I want to fix it. But anyway, anyway, you get the general idea. So there are my peacocks. Okay. Um, I think they're, they're kind of springy looking because they're very pretty. All right. Thank you.